matter what age level you are. Throwing the football, it all starts with the grip. And we're going to show you that. We're going to show you with two different guys and how consistent a grip it has to be so that you can get the proper release of, of the throw. As you look at this, there's got to be air in between there. There's got to be spacing. Anytime that the ball all the way down, it's called palming the ball or pushing the football. The only time you would want to be able to what muscle up or have a tight grip like that is during rainy games. Any other time, the ball needs to be off there so that it rolls off your finger well and you're not pushing. You can actually throw the football. Look how his spacing is, how it's cupped on the back side. Bigger the hands, the more obviously you're going to cover with your grip. Look how it goes from the top here. Here's the line that most all youth footballs for all the way to high school through college has, has the white line. You can use that to be the basis. And look how it goes down on the laces. His pinky finger is all the way down on about the fourth lace. And see how this is different. A different guy using the same consistency. The rules and the principles never change. All right. The side view, pretty much the same. Chase has got a little bit bigger hand, so his is going to be a little further down. His index finger is right on the uh, white line where Matt's was here. As you look at the grip all the way to the back, like I said, his hand's a little bit bigger, so therefore he's going to cover more of the football with his thumb being bigger spacing. See how consistent his is. He's got it off of his hand too. Now, if it was a rainy type situation, how would you get it all the way down? You would muscle all the way down so that you can control the football. I'm Joe Dickinson, and that was the proper grip of the football.